Ember just came out. It was a song that I wrote earlier this year with a friend of mine and he's such an amazing producer. He's produced so many songs you probably know like Illy, Meg Mac, Eminem um, called M Phases. It was a really fun track to do. It's all my vocals on it that he's kind of sampled and it, it almost sounds like there's a male singing. A lot of people have said, who's the featured artist? But it's just, it's just me. And it's part of a whole EP that's coming out in a few weeks. Yeah. So if you like that song, hopefully you'll like the other songs too. Because I can't wait. Uh, a few other new ones. Awesome. I was going to ask you if you're going to bring out an EP soon because like I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Yes. What time are you playing today? Playing at 2.10, so um, earlier on because story of my life on a Saturday, I have to then bolt back to Sydney to broadcast my radio show on oh Triple J. Oh my goodness, yeah. that's insane. You're like this multifaceted like superstar. I can't get, I can't have too many drinks because I have to go and do <laughs> national radio, so it'll be a really rough show. <laughs> How do you balance like all your work? I think the thing that makes it easy is I enjoy a lot of the things that I do. You know, I try and eliminate anything that isn't fun. I just kind of get rid of it. It makes it really easy when you're tired to get through everything. I see that you like try and champion like new like female artists. So how important is that to you? I think I'd try and champion any new artists. Um, I mean, you guys at Project You are so good. Nick is such a genius yeah. at doing that. I always Hi, follow Nick. him on Twitter. <laughs> I really trust uh, trust your opinion. So don't lead me astray <laughs> <laughs> with the new music. But I've always just loved so many styles of music, and um, it's a it's kind of a natural thing that happens because I was, as well as doing that, I also do my own stuff. So yeah. you've got to balance that as well. What's it like working with like Slumberjack and What's So Nod and all those guys? I mean, they're all so cool. I've known them for a few years, but a lot of this stuff was done via the internet, so you're not yeah. even in the same room. Um, I think I first sang the vocals for the first song with What's So Not Jaguar in my own studio and just emailed it to them, and I hadn't <laughs> met them until afterwards. You kind of go, hi, nice to meet you, and put a face like, to the Does emails. it feel like you've known them forever? Like, you meet them and you're like, whoa. Kind of, but then again, kind of not, because it's really interesting having an email work relationship and then not actually hanging out with people so much you know that they, they travel and I travel so much it's really hard to yeah, like you're see so people busy. Yeah. yeah plus it's cool that you can do that these days like work online and get something done instead of having to make the time because it's so hard in this like music industry what else so, what on earth did we do before the internet <laughs> I know I just have no idea like my mom tells me oh like before the internet we couldn't do anything and I'm like oh mom like I don't know how you survived being a teenager can you imagine having to make it date with someone and say I'll meet you next Thursday at the cinemas yeah. at 7 p.m. in front of this poll and you just had to meet them there you couldn't yeah. just text and say oh, I'm running or like late. calling the home phone and having the father pick up and be like yes. can I speak to your daughter like can you <laughs> or like listening in on siblings has that ever happened to you like have you ever like been on a date with someone and then they've called your family and your fam has been like awkward about it uh, I don't think so. My parents were pretty cool because my dad was a muso, so and it still is. So they let me do a lot of things, which was which was really yeah. nice. So very encouraging. So you get your talent from your dad, then? I think it is definitely a big influence. <laughs> <laughs> I think having someone do that at such a young age and see it as a, a profession that is accepted meant yeah. that I was just like, right, that's all I'm gonna do. Yeah, you could do it. Like there was no like get an actual job kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah, but I do. I'm really obsessed with crime TV shows. Have you seen like, like Making a Murder or The Jinx or even Narcos? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to be a detective. Oh Maybe we can be detectives together. We got the glasses. I'm wearing yeah. KLP's glasses. She gave them to me to wear, so I we can do like a detective I feel like team. I'm good at asking questions. You want to ask me some questions then? I'd be good. Like, where were you on the night of <laughs> September 21st? <Yes. laughs> But no, I do honestly love those kind of crime shows. I'm a bit obsessed. When I'm on tour by myself, I watch a lot of... There's lot good of books, like you can think of like Agatha Christie and stuff like that. Like, yeah. What's that insane too? I love the shows though, the TV shows. <laughs> or uh, podcasts as well. Oh, podcasts. Yeah, yeah that's podcasts amazing. are good. So since we're at yours and owls, if you were an owl, what colour would your feathers be? It's a weird this one, I This is know. probably one of the toughest questions <laughs> I've ever been asked. I don't want to stuff this up. <laughs> Yeah, in case you become an owl and you have to have that I colour. Know. And then like, I'm like, what why did do? I say purple? You can never change your outfits. I think I'm going to say black because then I could be a sneaky detective owl. Like and camouflage? Just like, 
yeah, like a really dark back because they hang out at night and yeah. so then you it would be easy to kind of hide from people. Did you know they can turn their necks like 230 degrees like Really? Like around. So maybe I'm, so I was an like, owl in another life or something. Like an owl detective? detective? Maybe we can make a show about that, like the owl detective. Could be a cool cartoon. Yes. Yeah. Same.